It's going in the hole. Welcome to Uncle Nick Golf. I'm Uncle Nick. And I'm gonna teach bad golfers to golf. Not so bad. I'm gonna teach you techniques that might not be the right way to do it, but it works for me. Let's get started. Today, we're gonna play a 1v1. It's gonna be me versus my brother. But it's not just an ordinary 1v1. I'm gonna beat his ass with one club. I'm not gonna bring a driver, I'm not gonna bring a putter, I'm not gonna bring any irons. Well, I'm gonna bring one iron. The hole-in-one, the all-in-one, the 34-in-one. It's the Divnik, the hole-in-one. It's just a adjustable loft. One length iron goes basically from a four iron to a putter. The setting, the loft setting goes as low as negative, so. I guess you could hit backwards. So let's head down to my favorite golf course, West, West Sox! Sox! And let's do some work. We're on the first tee box, ready for our 1v1. And I'm about to whoop this guy's ass with one club. This is the Divnik hole in one, all in one. It's an adjustable law. So you just flip the switch, adjust your loft, whatever you want and whoop some ass. There you go. Hit number one of the one club ass whooping challenge. One sixty one. I got it dialed to a six iron. I'm gonna try to get over the tree. We've got bush. Oh. Damn it, it went right in the tree. At least I hit it straight. 91 yards. I'm going to try to get a sand wedge out of this. Choke down. It's going in the hole. So it looks like I have to hit this putt to tie. Oh no. Good. <laughs> good, good then. All right. You know it's rude if good, good, and you still putt it. Good thing I good, good. good thing you took it. All right. You wanna do match play or stroke play? Match play, whoever wins the hole gets the point. Stroke play is just your score at the end of the game. Either way, you would be up one. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do match play, I think is the easiest. That way, if you have a blow up hole, you don't ruin your whole game. So it's one zero. All right, hole number two. 443 par five. 100% gonna take me three shots to get there. I hear it clicking. I wonder if it's spinning when I'm hitting. I don't, I never did understand how it doesn't swivel. All right, Trevor's hitting his second shot. Alrighty then. To answer the question, how bad could it be? I think that's the way to hit it. I hit it. I hit it. What am I lofted at? I'm lofted at a four iron. That was a sick ass hit. Third shot. Wait, this would be my third shot. Number two, 141 yards. Uh, 140. 
Okay. Um, can. Okay. Shoot. Thank you. Short. Um, I think that was like a nine or eight. It's hard to really tell what it is. Not quite. All right, I missed the green by a little bit. Oh, that's it. I got this lofted as a sand wedge. This is, uh, the struggle bus is here. We are here, we are here, we are here. We are here. Um, this would be for par, so let's see if I can land this, and it would be a tie. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, so hole number two, we both got bogeys. It's a tie, so Trevor remains one up in the match. The only difference about this match is there's not any Phil Mickelson holding us back. So, all right, hole number three is a modified par three. Try away. It's about 68 yards. I'm going to keep it at a sandwich setting and just choke down on it. See if I can just. Oh, you gotta kind of flop it over the sand though. Let me try to hit it high. Is that too much? That's too perfect. To the left, to the left. All right, Trevor's second shot is. In the, uh, I don't know if you call that waste bunker, it's in the dirt garbage. He hit it slightly off the green. I think he should just concede this hole. I landed on the green, so this would be putting for the birdie. What a chip. No. That was so dumb. Are you dumb? Ruining Be scores dumb. here. Huh? Nope. Right, five. Nope. Fucking tie. Nothing like a four putt. Right, so we tied suck. that hole again, so he remains one up. We both got fives, and that was just sad. Don't like it. Okay, good. We got matching tee shots. Shot. I feel like the shaft is collapsing in the middle of my hip. That was a sick ass hit. Second shot. Awkward lie, ball above feet, choke down. Straight. I'm gonna set the club to a five iron. Cause the putting setting, the putter setting, I feel like it's crooked. There's too much offset. So I'm just gonna hit the top of the ball, roll this in for par, and put this match to rest. Oh, bitch. Guess I'm not. Okay, I'm still alive. Heartbreaker, you got a six. I can. Win the hole with this putt. <laughs> Damn it! This shit's weak. We tied at six, and Trevor remains one up. All right. If I had to give my best Rick Shields review of this club, the Divnik All-in-One, I would say the concept is pretty cool. 
the only things that kind of was making it hard for me was when I had when I was hitting it at the long iron, as you can see, the club kind of can swivel. And I don't know what keeps it locked in place. I don't know if there is something, but I was just kind of playing it like that. And I noticed when I had it at the longer iron setting, like a uh, three or two or even driver, I had a hard time hitting it. And I was thinking that when I was hitting the ground, the club was either swiveling or it was kind of collapsing. You know how it's... Uh... So I was thinking while I was hitting, it's spinning and kind of going in a little bit, which is preventing me from actually making good contact. Um, also, when you have it lined up as a putter, let's see, you can see it like this. Can you see it like that? The offset right here, it's not that lined up. So, let's see, the offset over here, it's not very flat. So, when you're trying to putt with it, it, it doesn't make for a good putter. And also, since it is one length, hitting it as a wedge, I was struggling with that too because it's so long. It's like a four iron length and you're trying to hit it like a sandwich. So what I was doing is choking down and that makes the club so damn light, it's hard to keep control over it. And I mean, you can see it's not the most forgiving club either. I mean, it's a cool idea. I think it would be effective only probably between maybe a pitching wedge or nine iron to probably five or four iron. Um, nothing else. It's not good as a sand wedge or lob wedge, and it's definitely not good as a driver or putter. Um, all in all, it gives you the ability to play golf, bringing only one club, and you're going to see um, if you can just bring one club, like if you're traveling or whatever, it's a good idea. If you don't care about putting or driving distance, um, let's get back to the video. Okay, I'm going to try something a little different. Instead of hitting a wedge, I'm going to do a low, a short iron, and I'm just going to try and pitch it so it rolls. Well, that's the plan. I think that's the way to do it. Too short. Oh, it's going in the sand. Uh, I like you too, Sandy. That looks good. Stop. All right, I ended up down here. What a shame from a good shot. Anyways, I'm hitting my second shot. I got it dialed to pitching wedge. Um, I'm just gonna play it safe and get it onto the green dollar bill divot. Guys, what I want to do is talk to YouTube and say, guys, guys, it looks like I'm going to take a two hole down. How do you say it? Looks like I'm going to be down two holes after this, guys, unless I jar this one. I'm going to keep it at pitching wedge. Guys. Fighting is definitely a struggle with this club. You suck. Okay, there's a chance. I'm gonna figure out how to putt with this. You're a loser. Even when I do that. Um, I think you won, yeah. Alright, I took another L. I am down two holes now. Down, 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 we need to rally. Down, down. But what we need to do is figure out the putting. I can get on the green just fine, but putting is a problem. I'm a problem. And it did nothing. All right, all right, all right.
Maybe I try to put it holding the full length of the curtain. Nope. No! Putting is just guessing with this. It, it doesn't make for a good putter. That was a rough hole. I got a seven. What did you get? Got a one. All right, so after terrible hole, one double par, one triple bogey, I'm down one. All right, hole number seven, 140. 141 yards to green center. Dialed into eight iron. A little bit hard, but it's good. Just short of the green. Bougainville. All right, the second shot just on the collar. Our first cut, I don't know what you call it. I'm gonna keep it at eight iron. Oh! Psych! And win the hole with this putt. Good, good. Good, good. Yep. All right. <laughs> tie, tie. And I remain one down. All right, we're on hole number eight. I'm down by one. I feel like if I could figure out the putting, I'd be doing a lot better. So I'm gonna just hit off the ground, dial to a four iron. Just wanna get it in the fairway. Whoa! Oh, good. All right, we're both hitting our third shot inside the 100 yard marker up the hill. Can't see the green from here, but trust it's there. Your brothers? No. Yes! I think I went right of the green though. All right, I'm gonna be hitting my fourth shot. I'm gonna keep it at the pitching wedge. Lots of green to work with. All right, he took a sand relief, hitting fourth. No, 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 that's not good at all. Hitting with a putter, a pitching wedge setting. Turn, sucker. Can you dig it, dig it, sucker? Okay, I got a six. Cash. Ooh. All right, I took, I took hole number eight. We are all square going into hole nine. He's heating up! That guy, he's defeated. From the Divnik. <laughs> that would... That was a good hit. Ah, a little hooky. Drawing, drawing. Okay, on the green we're putting. Nice. Can I just freaking hype myself up? Nice. Well, he wasn't. It's kind of close.
<laughs> All right, hole number nine, we both got bogeys and we remain all squared through the first nine holes. Looks like we have to play nine more to settle this red score. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. Oh